Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, my topic today is the impact of COVID-19 for international business with Bangladesh. First of all, please let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Jan Moritz. I'm the managing director of company Julius Hüppeden uh, in Hamburg, Germany. Uh, our company is uh, established 1877 and we are 144 years in the ready-made garment sector. And we are running our own office and our stuff, uh, stuff in Dakar. So this means with this background, you will easily see that my point of view is more or less the ready-made garment sector. And because this is also the backbone of the industry in Bangladesh. So I think this is the invitation for me to give you the speech today. So coronavirus disruptions in ready-made garment sector in Bangladesh. Uh, what, is the, uh, what is the effect at the moment for the ready-made garment sector worldwide? Uh, the pandemic of Corona have strong effects due to the lockdown. Um, we had in spring 2020, the first lockdown in Europe, North America and other regions of the world. Uh, now we are facing in Europe, the second heavy lockdown uh, in North America as well. Um, but the effect is for the ready-made garment industry that the consumers are not in the mood for shopping. So um, this means the turnover worldwide for ready-made garment is heavily going down. Uh, but the question is, and this is the idea for me, for me to have, be here today, what are the, is the impact for the ready-made garment sector in Bangladesh? So we have to face a situation that 85% of the national gross national product of Bangladesh is coming from a ready-made garment sector. This means this is the backbone of, of, the, of, uh, of the country. Uh, and in spring, uh, we had to face uh, the situation that a lot of international buyers uh, had to cancel orders. Uh, and as a consequence, uh, the ready-made garment factories have to dismiss a lot of workers. Uh, the figures I have in hand is from 4 million workers in this area. In this sector, one million was dismissed, and uh, as so far as I know, uh, a big number of these dismissed workers are not coming back to the factories till today. Um, this situation is very pity, and this brings less income because not the money is coming uh, from the market. Uh, this affects also the the social welfare, which are coming from the factories and uh, medical support and so on. This is given by, by the factories to the workers and to the society. But in, on the other hand, for what is the impact for the ready-made garment factories in Bangladesh? Uh, we all know that the, the quantity and the volume of the orders are going down. Or it was... Uh, going down since spring and we did not reach the, the level before the crisis. Uh, this also have an impact on the financial situation of the factories uh, because the, the costing situation for a ready-made garment factory is more or less the same. You have the land, you have the buildings, you have the machineries, uh, but if you have less orders, uh, uh, this means uh, your turnover is going down. Uh, and the costs are more or less stable. You can only slightly reduce the costs. Um, on the other hand, due to the less order situation, uh, we are facing in the market that some buyers are forcing the factories to accept lower prices. Uh, within the last year, in, and the factory owners have to follow this and maybe from time to time accept this in order to fill up the capacities of the factories. This has also, of course, the effect uh, that the financial scope uh, is going slightly going down, but this is individual from factory to factory. And uh, we heard that a lot of uh, some financial support is coming from the government, uh, but you cannot compensate everything. So this is the situation. Plus the Corona pandemic has very, very strong impact for the factories itself, because due to the pandemic situation, you 
can only have around three thirds of, uh, of your workers in the factory in the production process. Um, this means the capacity and the efficiency is going down. Even we had some factories, if you have a breakout in the factory for Corona, then you have to close the factory. Uh, and uh, plus you have a lot of extra costs. You have uh, checked the fiber and you, you need all the technical devices for running the, the factory. This is a very strong impact for, the, for the all factories. Plus, uh, we have to face a situation that the worldwide disruptions in the logistic departments have a very strong impact on the on the logistic situation, uh, and this everything comes together. Contradict to that, the requirements of the world market is coming more and more. Uh, particularly from Germany, for example, the green button, greener knopf, uh, ecotax, etc., etc. And these uh, requirements coming every year more and more. Um, but all of these together has also effect, a strong impact for the workers. Uh, because if you have less orders, you need less workers and you have to dismiss some workers, as I said before. And if a worker is losing the job, you, um, you have no income. So the welfare situation uh, is a little bit different than compared to first world countries. Um, a lot of factories giving medical support to the workers, and if you dismiss your workers, you cannot give them the same medical support as before. Uh, you have uh, workers receiving food in the in the factories, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And at the other one, on the other hand, a lot of workers, due to the level of education, uh, it is very hard to bring them into new jobs, into maybe high sophisticated jobs. Uh, this is the overall situation we're facing. And at the moment, we are facing that the situation is still very critical. Uh, of course, this is only what I see in the market. It was I see with my, my partners in, uh, on the ground. And we don't know what is, how long it takes. Uh, uh, we, we have to face this situation. Uh, but in order to limit of the time we have here in, 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 in this, uh, uh, I would like to give you uh, a conclusion uh, because end of 2019, um, we discussed all in the, in the ready-made garment sector that the end of an area is coming because Bangladesh was going to take over China as the biggest ready-made garment uh, producer worldwide. Uh, Today, a lot of factories have problems. Uh, the ready-made garment sector is in a very unstable situation at the moment. We all worldwide, you know, we are partners. We are supporting our factories. We would like to give a helping hand to all of them. Uh, but it is the situation is very unclear to, to all the market uh, players. So um, we see at the moment that uh, a lot of factories are fighting. Uh, they, they have to fight for orders. They have to fight for their workers. They have to survive. And my final conclusion is only for the ready-made garment, which is in a very big sector in Bangladesh. Uh, at the moment, this crisis is still going on. It's slightly better and better, months by months. But it is not over. So this is what I'm seeing on the ground. and. Uh, I know that this was a little bit the negative uh, part of, of, of this meeting, but uh, I hope you understand the, my point of view and I thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah.